Here's the reason why I haven't let up the ghost quite yet. And I think you'll find out why in just a bit. Quite loud, I was wearing earplugs for that one. Yeah. So, let's go check out the damage. Clean hit. Right there. Just poked a hole, really. No, it didn't just poke a hole. Holy buckets. Wow. <sighs> Look at that. Completely busted it open. And I just took a uh, tire valve and drilled a hole into a lid, one about a lid, and screwed it on, then pressurized it. And that's the cap. Here's the burst bottle. Yeah. That was quite loud. I'm glad I was wearing earplugs. Yeah. Had that right one shoved into my brain. Alright. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be sure I have more bottles so I can get that on high speed for you. Okay. I don't need earplugs for this one. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure if you'll be able to make out the ping pong ball that's right there. And I have a pop can right next to it. That's my next target. I don't really care if I hit the pop can. So, the uh, proper range. Grab my red arrows. Let's go ahead. Hold up. Just a hair low. That's fine. And go ahead and. One more. Nailed it. Let's go and check out the damage. Here we go. As you can see, very close with the first shot, just a hair low. Second shot, clean hit impaled it. That is a ping pong ball with a hole in it. And here's the other arrow. Yeah. Now let's set up a pop can. Okay, I'm showing you this because then you'll know my struggle. But I'll aim right for that centerpiece. Alright, now you saw that struggle. Let's go shoot it. Okay, I got you guys. Got you guys set up again. Another red arrow. Go ahead. We're going to pop that can right in the dead center of it. Nailed it! I think. Maybe a hair low, so you know what? We're going to take a second shot. 
Down my bow. Just so you know, I'm showing you every single shot. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There. Much better. As you can see, one shot was just right. Took care of that. I wasn't holding the bow quite level, so the sights weren't on. Same deal with the scope on a rifle. If it's not level, it won't hit precisely where you're aiming. So you gotta make sure you're level when you shoot, otherwise it's going to be off. It doesn't matter how good of a shot you are. You're gonna shoot off and then you're gonna think the scope is off. Then you're going to start sighting it in differently, accounting for that. And you're gonna be very, very inconsistent. That's why my bow has a nice bubble level, so I can see if I'm level or not. Well, now, this cap, I'm going to go and reload it with the bottle. Reload another bottle, and then we're going to shoot it again, this time on slow-mo. Oh, and before I do that, if you're interested in this block invasion target, I got it down from a buddy down in David City. It's an archery shop. He also runs a taxidermy shop. I have not tried their taxidermy shop. But I have done their archery shop. And it is a phenomenal place. I really like that guy. He uh, tuned up my bow for me and got it all custom for me. And he hooked me up with some of these arrows. Not the yellow flashing one, but the red ones. He hooked me up with those. Very high quality arrows. And he will make sure that you have everything you need to enjoy some nice archery target practice. Yeah. He's a very nice guy, so. He's down in Nebraska City, sorry. If I said David City, I meant Nebraska City. Okay, you can look him up. Now, give me a moment, I'm gonna unhook the camera. Hey, remember all that talk about how I was going to build water bottle bombs and explode them with my bow and arrow and have really cool explosions to put on YouTube? Yeah. I it turns out I had a leaky tire valve. So that's done. Sometimes YouTube can be really frustrating. Okay, so, we set up the egg. Let's go ahead and launch this sucker and break it. It's way too late. Alright, 
Reset it up again. Okay, I've reset up the egg. Let's see. It won't fall over. I bet it will fall over. All right, let's go ahead, let's take a look. Ooh, look at that. Dead center of that egg. That was probably a really bad idea. Look at that. That's just disgusting. Well, got one more egg. So, go ahead and scoop this target up. Or, I want to bury it in some dirt so my chickens don't eat it. There, buried in some dirt. Let's uh, wipe this off. Ah, who cares? Wiped it off in my shirt. All right, see if I can get that on FOMO for you guys. Thanks for watching Goat Ranch and I will see you next time.